As you already know from watching CNN, MSNBC, and the BBC, another Christian girl has been killed for refusing to convert to Islam and marry a Muslim man. Oh, you didn't hear about this on CNN, MSNBC, or the BBC because they rarely report these attacks? That's strange. You'd think that men killing women and girls for refusing to submit to their demands would be newsworthy. You know, because of that Me Too movement. UCA News reports. Christian activists are condemning the killing of a Christian maid after a Muslim suitor shot her for refusing to renounce her faith and marry him. Sonia Bibi, 24, was shot in the head at 9.36 a.m. on November 30th at Fazaya Stop of Rawal Pindi in Punjab province. The housemaid died on the way to the Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences Hospital in Islamabad. She was the eldest of six siblings. Her funeral was held the same day. Her father, Allah Reka Masih, a sanitary worker, accused Shehzad and his friend Faizan of killing Sonia. Faizan has been arrested, but Shehzad is still at large. Shehzad had been following my daughter for the past five months. He also sent his mother to our house for the marriage proposal. But they were Muslims, and we are Christians. That's the reason I refused, Masih stated in a first information report. Does that make him an Islamophobe? Shehzad had threatened to kill my daughter. Faizan used to accompany him in following her. She was murdered for refusing the proposal. Teresa, the victim's mother, demanded justice. I stopped working as a housemaid two years ago after my right arm weakened due to electrocution. My daughter worked hard like a son, she said. The murder was denounced on social media. Sonia could save her life if she had agreed to run away with the boy, change her religion, and forcefully marry her. Stop violence against women, said Samson Salamat, chairman of the interreligious Rawawadi Tariq, Movement for Tolerance, in a Facebook post. The brave daughter saved the dignity of her parents and accepted their decision, posted Pastor Riaz Arif Malik, former vicar of Lahore Diocese. Pastor Marcus Sharif, chairman of the Early Apostolic Church of Pakistan, urged clerics to take notice of increasing attacks on religious minorities. What kind of evangelism or service is forced conversion for marriage or murder? The silence of politicians raises many questions, he said. Well, it's not evangelism, it's dawah. In 2018, a 25-year-old Christian resident housemaid, Asma Yaqub, died in Sialkot, 106 kilometers from Lahore, after a Muslim suitor set her ablaze for refusing to renounce her faith and marry him. Her father, Yaqub Masih, accused a banner maker of dousing her with acid or petrol and setting her alight. You know, if this were a story about a Christian man or a Hindu man, trying to force a Muslim girl to convert, and then killing her for refusing to convert, this would be international news. This story would be used by news agencies around the world to prove that Islamophobia is destroying lives. But since it's a Christian girl being killed by a Muslim man, not only does no one want to report it, they'll accuse you of being racist and Islamophobic for daring to report it. And YouTube might ban you for hate speech just for mentioning it. Apparently, in 2020, the life of a Christian girl just isn't as important as protecting Islam from criticism. Raise your hand if you're getting sick of the insanity.